Launch control, Dragon, loud and clear. These two American astronauts spent more than two months in space. Ignition, liftoff. Their launch was the first manned launch from the U.S. in 10 years. The Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, go NASA. Go NASA? Wait, why NASA? NASA hasn't sent anyone into space for years. This rocket was launched by Elon Musk. Musk had not only done something that it was previously thought that only the governments of superpowers could do, he had done things that it, they thought they couldn't do, that no one could do. Robert Zubrin, author of The Case for Space, points out that private companies now do what NASA couldn't even imagine doing, send people into space affordably. This is the potential of free enterprise. Apollo 11, this is Houston. 50 years ago, NASA did send astronauts to the moon. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained. Makes me wonder, why did the moon landing succeed? Apollo was purpose-driven. We wanted to astonish the world what free people could do. But after that success, NASA became a typical government agency. Over budget, behind schedule. When you don't have a, a truly commanding purpose, the purpose of the program becomes to supply money to various suppliers. Like Lockheed Martin, where Zubrin worked, and where he discovered a way for this rocket to carry twice as much weight. It doubled the payload capability for 10% extra cost. They said to us, look, if the Air Force wants us to improve the Titan, they'll pay us to do it. Why would a private contractor not innovate? Because... The incentive structure is all messed up. NASA pays contractors development costs and then adds 10% profit. The more projects cost, the bigger the contractor's profit. You have good people engaged in cost maximization because you just gave them incentive to do that. <laughs> we have not been good at maintaining schedule and we have not been good at maintaining cost. And they aren't good at innovating. Governments never are. Only recently did the Pentagon stop using these floppy disks. Astronauts would bring their laptops with them in space because the shuttle computers were obsolete. When they saw that the astronauts were bringing their own computers, why didn't they upgrade? Because they had an entire uh, philosophy that various components had to be space rated. And the process of space rating something was very bureaucratic and costly. Costly was okay with NASA, as long as spaceships were assembled in many congressmen's districts. In some ways, NASA is a very large job program. Aerospace lawyer James Dunstan. By spreading its centers across the country, NASA can get more support from more different congressmen. The current request calls for more than $21 billion. We'll welcome you back to Texas and spend lots of money anytime. <laughs> but now, private competition has lowered the cost of getting to space. Eleven years ago, an Obama committee concluded building a rocket as powerful as this would take 12 years and cost $36 billion. Musk did it in six years for less than $1 billion. Because it was his money he was spending. One Musk innovation was reusable rocket boosters. For years, NASA dropped theirs into the ocean. Why would they throw it away? Because that's the way it's always been done. But Musk thought... If you had to get a new plane every time you flew somewhere, very few people could afford to fly. So he found a way to have them land safely so they can be used again. Zubrin suggested that to his bosses 20 years ago. And the Falcons have landed. I went to a vice president and I pitched it to him. And he said, yeah, it's a real cute idea, Bob, but if we sell one of these, we're out of business. They want to keep the cost of Spain's launch high. But now that there's a list of competitors, launch prices are crashing. Now there's a competition. Bezos has Blue Origin, Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic, Boeing, SpaceX, aerospace giant Lockheed Martin. There's also Chinese SpaceX wannabes. Building satellite launching rockets. But Musk is testing still newer ideas. By the time the Chinese copy him and have something as good as what he has now, he'll have something better. Like Starship, his bigger spacecraft. Taller than the Statue of Liberty. It's meant to take people to Mars and back. With a system like Starship, you could travel on Earth from anywhere to anywhere in less than an hour, flying through space because there's no friction in space. What might be next? You just don't know. You know, Benjamin Franklin was once asked after he did one of his electricity demonstrations, this is fascinating, Dr. Franklin, but what possible use could this electricity ever have? And he answered, of what use is a baby? 
All our most wonderful inventions started as babies. Government didn't know what to do with a Model T, the early computer, the Wright Brothers plane. It took competing entrepreneurs pursuing profit to turn them into the great things we have now. Let's celebrate the entrepreneurs who break government's old rules and take us to new places. Reigniting the dream of space. I hope you learn from these videos. We count on people like you to help us keep making them. So please click that button. Thank <laughs> you.